Welcome to PowerShell Pro Tips. I am Andrew Plotek, and in today's episode, I'm gonna talk all about profiles and how you can start taking advantage of them to import modules, define functions, customize your terminal, and more. To get things started, a profile is a script that runs every single time you open up PowerShell. Now, I said script, and in order for scripts to execute on your computer, your execution policy needs to be set. So you can run set execution policy, remote signed, or whatever you want in your environment. Ideally, this is set by policy somewhere, but that's a problem for you to solve. So you can read more about that with help about execution policies dash online. And if you want to get all the dirty details about profiles, check the Microsoft docs for that as well. Now, first of all, we have a variable. It's called profile. It exists by default. It has the current user, current host, current user, your user, current host, where you're running PowerShell. I'm using VS code. See my profile, microsoft.vscode underscore profile.ps1. I personally and let's look at the profile object real quick to see what other options there are. So there is also current user all hosts. That's the one that I like using because it fits my workflow. If you have a different workflow, maybe you want a different profile per host, you can do that. But I recommend this and you can test if it exists by running test path. This one does exist because maybe I've gone through this video once already. Um, but if you don't, you can run new item and you can create that profile for yourself. And if you want to open it up, you can do code, dollar sign, profile, uh, whichever profile you want to use. I already have it open, so I will close this. Let's look at the profile. We have some cool stuff here. We have, must have modules. So you can import modules. I have some ones that I really like. Tips and PowerShell Run. Shout out to Tips. Check it out if you haven't. It's a great way to get PowerShell tips in your PowerShell instance. You can also configure the window title. So I set mine to we do PowerShell here. I will show you that. I don't know where the title is on this screen down low, but I'll show you in this. We do PowerShell here. Oh my goodness. You can set that to other things like uh, the name of the host or if you're elevated or not, but I kept it simple. You can also define our function uh, for prompt. And the prompt is what shows up every single time you run PowerShell. It's this new line thing right here. And the prompt function allows you to customize that. I kept it simple, which is the location. You can go pretty wild with this, which I might cover in a future episode. There's also PS read line customizations you can make here, uh, like setting key handlers and things like that. And these will be executed, like I said, every single time you open up PowerShell. Cool variable you might not know about, PS default parameter values. So that is a way for you to set default parameter values. And I've used some examples here. Um, these are pretty relevant if you are on Windows 5.1, setting export CSVs, no type information parameter to true, and install module scope to current user. Makes things a little bit easier for me. But this one's really worth shouting out here on line 18, which is out default, which is a command that runs on every single thing that you run in PowerShell, ultimately out default runs on it. So there's an out variable last out. And this allows us to now have a last out variable for the previous command for everything. So I'll do an example here. I'll just output the string hi, and then I'll check last out. And there you go. It contains my last output. Very cool stuff. That is a good tip. I put the path to the profile in dollar sign this profile. That can be helpful if you have multiple profiles and you'll see I call this later, which I'll get to in a second. You can also put aliases. I put one for where object. You can go wild here. Highly recommended if you're using similar commands all the time. Make them shorter, make your workflow more efficient. There's also functions. So edit profile, this is a cool one. Code, and then we refer to that, this profile variable that we created earlier. And this will open up the profile that you have selected. Again, very handy if you're using multiple different profile files. There's also a function for getting my public IP, which is pretty helpful for a lot of people. And I have a fun one for me, which is get PowerShell podcast. And I have an open random. If I wanna get a new episode, you know what? I kind of do. Every single Monday, 10 a.m. Eastern time, there's a new episode. And there's just been so many. I just sometimes want to dive into some deep PowerShell. So let's see what that looks like. Oh, my goodness. And it opens up right here. DBA Tools with Jess Pomfret. Jess Pomfret's amazing. What a fantastic episode to recommend. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Andrew Plotek. You've learned about profiles. I hope you can start taking advantage of them because we will build on this in future episodes. Have a great day.